Hi, um, this is a quick review of um, foundations, concealers and powders. Um, I'm going to go straight into my foundations that I use, which I'm building up a kit for my collection. I'm building up a collection for my kit, I should say, of the Double Wear from Estee Lauder Stay In Place Foundation. I really trust this foundation um, purely because I use it myself. Um, there's a whole variety of shades you can pick from and it's just really good, long lasting, great coverage. So it's really good for like bridal and depth makeup and then if you're doing editorial shoots because you get the great coverage from it. But then for everyday use, if you work in air conditioning and stuff, it just stays in place and it does not slide off your face, which is really, really good. Um, the shades I have at the moment are... I don't know if you can see it, Ivory Beige, Wheat and Fresco. Um, I also have the Double Wear Light, which I use on a daily basis myself, purely because sometimes the, the Double Wear's originals can be a little bit too heavy on the skin. The Double Wear Light I have is number one. Um, it's just a little bit lighter in texture. Coverage wouldn't be as strong, but it's still, it's great for just the daytime. Um, I know this isn't, isn't a foundation, but I had to introduce it into, um, because I would mix it with my foundation if I need a darker tone or if someone is wearing tan because it is a liquid bronzer. You literally only need a tiny amount of this because it is quite dark. Mix it with your foundation is brilliant or use it on its own, brilliant. Um, I'm just going to introduce you down to these. This is my Daywear Plus here. This is a multi-protection antioxidant moisturiser, sheer tint release. Basically, it is a tinted moisturiser that comes out grey on the hand. When you rub it into your skin, it develops to your skin tone. So if I was to use it, it would be different on, say, if my friend was to use it because we've got different skin tones. Um, I would either put that on its own if you just really want to, don't want to wear foundation but you want a good moisturiser with a little bit of colour. Um, also it's really good if you're using it, you can use it underneath your foundation and it gives a really good even base. Then also I have is the Sheer Lights Illuminating Tinted Moisturiser from Elizabeth Arden. This is something similar to the... Estee Lauder Daywear Plus Tinted Moisturiser, it's just a little bit darker. And the reason I got this was because it was in sale. <laughs> Basically, it has an SPF in it as well, and the colour I got was Burly Bronze. It is a pretty dark one, but it, then again, it's really good for under your foundation or on its own. Then also, the other foundations that I like are the Benefit Play Sticks. I have three of them, but two of them are the same colours. Um, two of them are Jacks and one is spin the bottle. They're like a pan stick formula where you just slide it up and you literally put it on your face like that and then you would either apply it with a sponge or rub it in I should say with a sponge or a brush. Um, they are good. The only thing I find that they're a little bit drying around my nose area and they're kind of obvious at how flaky they are but um, they're actually quite expensive. They in Ireland are roughly about 37, 38 euros which is a bit expensive. Um, they don't last as long as I would like because you, there's not enough product in the stick really because you use an awful lot of it. Um, but still, I like it. It's a good coverage. It starts off pretty well. It's just you need to top it up during the day. Compared to the double wear, it's not great. But I still would use it for myself when I'm using the very paler colours. Then I'm going to go straight on to my powders. These are my finishing powders I have. I also have a Lancome one, but I actually can't find it at the moment. But basically, I would use any powder that is given to me. Um, these are just two Clinique sample powders. This is a Gentle Light Powder in Glow 3. I don't really use it because I got it as a sample. Then this is the Blended face powder and it's in 03 as well. I don't really use them because they're quite tiny. I would keep them for traveling. I just use a basic natural collection. It's just so you can get them in boots or any drugstore or chemist. Um, I have the natural translucent. It's just a translucent powder. It's really loose. Tap, I just tip it into the lid and then I just dust it on my face just if I need it anywhere. Um, I don't. I personally don't think you need an expensive one. I know I have a Lancome one, but um, I was given to it as a gift, so it was free anyways, if you think of it in that way. But basically, any cheap brand was grand. You're only dusting a light, but make sure that it has no colour in it, because it'll give you a colour, and it'll be like a colour on a colour. So you put an extra colour on a foundation, which is not what you want. You want a translucent one that doesn't give any colour. Um, now I will go into my concealers. This is um, Elizabeth Arden Sheer Light Illuminating Pen, which is very like the Touche Claf from um, Yves Saint Laurent. Um, basically, because I have I have not used this one, um, I have tried an awful lot of highlighter pens for the eyes, and personally, I do not see any difference really 
compared to, I have the Touche Eclat from uh, Yves Saint Laurent, I got it in the airport for a reduced price. Um, I don't see much of a difference between this one, I also have a Collection 2000 which is a really cheap brand, Illuminating Touch. Um, I don't use it that often. I would use the Touche Eclat just because they have it. But personally, if I'm stuck, I don't think there's much of a difference between any of them. I don't think you really need to go out and buy an expensive one. Um, all the brands are really doing them now. So um, really, you don't have, you look around. You really don't even have to get a really dark one. Or I, sh I mean, a really dear one, I should say. But um, that's the... Um, that's that, I should say. Uh, and then I have the Disappearing from Estee Lauder Disappear Smoothing Cream Concealer. I have it in number three, which is a bit dark for me, but I have it in my kit and I am getting some more. Um, brilliant for under the eyes, on the eyelids, on spots, on blemishes, on scars. It really disappears exactly what it says in the tin, I suppose. Really, I would, that's a, I love this concealer. Really worth getting. Definitely, I recommend it. Um, then I was given this, the Makeup Forever Professional Paris um, Lift Concealer. Um, colour is number two. This is lovely as well. It's a really nice one. Um, it can go on blemishes and under the eyes and everything. Um, purely because I don't have a Makeup Forever really near me, I, the Estee order would be nearer to me because it's a little bit more easy access to get to instead of going into the city centre. Um, I would use that one a little bit more. Then I have this, which is just a hideaway concealer from the 17 brand range. It's just a really simple, basic one. If you've got any blemishes, just pop it on. Dab it with your ring finger there, because it's the lightest finger. And it's just easy to go. It doesn't stay on that long. You will have to top it up a little bit. Um, but it's still, it's cheap and it's convenient. Um, then the other that I have is, this is my cover, quick cover from number 7. It's just a cream concealer. I don't really like cream concealers, but this is not a bad one. I would tap it on either with my ring finger because the heat of my finger would melt it a little bit more so it wouldn't be as solid. It's okay, it's not bad. Um, then this is just actually a shimmering lip and eye sunscreen for your lips and your eyes. And it's really good just if you want to put it on your eye area as a really good base. Or you can put it over your lips as well and it has a shimmer to it. This then are my two expensive concealers. This is my MAC concealer. It is NW20 Studio Finish Concealer. With an, it says SPF 35. I'm not sure if it actually has an SPF, but that's really good if it does. Um, it is in a little pot, like so. If I could open it. There, you would need to apply it. I apply that with... Um, because it's, quite, it's actually a lot more creamer than solid. I'd apply that with a concealer brush. I'm just destroyed the lid. But anyways, then also I have the Benefit um Boying, I think it's pronounced Boying, and I have that in number 2. And it's the same. It's like you would put that on any spots or anything like that because it's quite strong. And it says here that it's um an anti cream. I'm not sure if it's actually maybe a little bit of an antiseptic cream which is really good for your spots as well it is a cream base as well and it's actually quite smooth you don't it's not that thick or heavy you can um i apologize i was looking somewhere else there you can just apply it there um with a sponge or your ring finger and you've got a little mirror there as well now that's all my foundation so far and um, i am still building my collection and um, that's my foundations my powders and concealers thanks for watching